All right, guys, it is your boy Tigo right here, and I know it's been a while since I posted on this channel. I think it's been a month or so. Let me get these hairs out, hairs out of the way. Hairs in my face as well. Anyways, I know it's been like a month, but to be honest, guys, I've been focused on uploading to my main channel. But anyways, today's going to be an interesting one, so I thought I'd just hit you guys with a random mukbanger, you know, mukmonger, whatever, mukbanger. <laughs> yeah, so check out what I've got right here. Look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. This right here. It's, oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, this right here is actually a family recipe. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm not actually. Hang on a second. Let me just. Yeah, so this is actually a family recipe. It's called. Uh, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually Chinese. A lot of people think I'm like Korean or Japanese or something like that. Especially because on my main channel, a lot of my videos are about Japan. But no, I'm actually Chinese. So this is called. Uh, originally, it's called Bai Tai Tofu Tong, which means like white technically translates to white vegetable tofu soup but i found out that uh bai tai are white uh by, by the way any any chinese people watching my chinese accent sucks anyways for it translates to white vegetable but i found out that um actually in english it's called napa cabbage so <laughs> napa cabbage and tofu soup but you know a little bit of uh, my own twist on it because i put some chicken in here and uh, daikon radish, which my parents used to do actually. A little bit of uh, pepper flakes, ichimi pepper flakes for the uh, a little bit of spice factor. But uh, I'm really hungry, guys, so I'm just gonna dig in. There's no topic this video. I'm just gonna eat this. It looks really good. Uh, I just made it, by the way. It takes like hours, because you gotta let it sit there. You gotta let it just go on that slow roll. I'm really hungry, but I am also stalling to let it cool down a little bit, because it is hot. But here we go, anyways. Tofu. <laughs> Some of that, just some of that good food, baby. They got a good tofu right there. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. And part of me, if I just go without talking for a while, I gotta eat. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to enjoy this as well. This is really good. Let's get a bite of that. Daikon radish with the chicken. Oh, oh, come on, get back on the spoon, baby. Hmm. And that's why you gotta let it go on the slow roll. You let that cook. You let that chicken cook for a long time on a low heat. And the soup it soaks up all that flavor and it becomes super tender. Like this chicken is very tender. By the way, there's different, you know, hardnesses of tofu. There's firm, soft, and silken. I'm using soft for the soup, but I really do like silken. You know, silken is the super soft one where like you barely touch it and just breaks apart. That one feels really good. The texture is so nice. And a lot of people, you know, they don't know, but there's like this, there is a flavor to tofu. People are like, oh, tofu doesn't have any flavor. There is a tofu flavor, you know, and I really like that flavor. Um, growing up, my parents always cooked a lot of different Chinese tofu dishes. And so I'm really into uh, tofu, but you know what they also say, that tofu makes you grow boobs. Not sure how true that is, but you know. I've watched a few mukbangers, or mukbangers or whatever, mukbangers, yeah, people doing it. Some of these people, can talk normally while they have food in their mouth, but I can't do that. You hear when I got food in my mouth, my voice starts getting weird because there's not enough space in there. I don't know how people talk with the food in their mouth and still sound normal. Oh, if it wasn't obvious enough, well, you saw it in the video actually, but it's over rice, you know? I don't really like eating things without rice or some carb source. I'm not really a fan of just eating just like straight up chicken or things like that. Like I can do it, obviously, but uh, I, if I can eat it with carbs, it's way better.
I don't even know. I don't know if this even looks appealing to y'all, like the food, you know. I don't even know if this looks good to you. Like, maybe you just think it looks nasty. But, for those, uh, for those of you who are interested, I'm planning on doing a recipe video on this eventually. I got a lot of recipe videos lined up, and, you know, now with the uh, whole gotta stay inside kind of thing. You know, I'm, 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 I live in Texas, you know. Obviously, I'm losing my ability to speak because I haven't talked to people for a while. I'm just kidding. Um... But, you know, we're told to stay inside, so I was feeling like, okay, this is a great chance to just bust out a bunch of videos. But at the same time, you know, my boy Eli can't come and help me record, obviously, so i got to do him alone, solo. But I got a lot of food ideas or food recipe videos that I still need to do that I have in my noggin. Uh, it's just a matter of doing them. Let's take a look at this real quick. I forgot to even mention, you see that, like, dark green kind of mustard green color looking thing? Well, that is the Napa cabbage, you know, that's a big play. Like, the soup doesn't have the same flavor if you don't let the Napa cabbage just sit in there and soak it up. But the thing is, I bought this Napa cabbage at HEB, which is a local grocery store in um, Texas, uh, like an American grocery store, I should say. Like, it's not an Asian store, right? Normally, I would buy my Napa cabbage from the Asian store. I don't know why, but the Asian stores, all of their Napa cabbage is, like, very yellow. The leaves are yellow. My mom told me that that gives it a more, uh, actually, you know, I definitely noticed it, like, it gives it a more sweet flavor, and it's just super tender once you let it cook in that soup for a long time. Like, this, this, obviously, looks super shriveled up, shriveled up, you know, soft, of course, but it, it's not giving that exact same sweet aroma that, that the Napa cabbage, when it's yellow, gives off, you know, I don't know why H-E-B's, Napa cabbage was a lot of green, but, um, you know, theoretically, ideally, you would want the yellow Napa cabbage. Ooh, hair's getting long, by the way. Got the tail going on. What do you guys think about the tail? What do you think about the tail? Let me know in the comments trying to get like a full on, like I want to grow it out all the way long just to see what it looks like because I've never done that, but I'm still at a little slightly, slightly awkward stage, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Mmm. I love the texture of tofu. I like that slight. So tofu, it's not like it's not like you bite into it and you just get this kick of flavor in your mouth. Tofu almost it's like you're eating it for the aftertaste. There's like a after like a tofu aftertaste. When you first put it in your mouth and bite it, yeah, you don't really taste anything, but it's like the slight aftertaste. It like hits you a little bit after. It's, it's very subtle. That's why I like tofu. And then also this daikon rat. Daikon rat is interesting. It's like it's, you definitely have to cook it long, like if you don't let the daikon radish cook, you know, and it's just like hard, that's nasty. And it's also pretty bitter. You let it cook for a little bit longer, it becomes like super soft, almost like a, almost like, not as, as, as destructible, you know, as, as watermelon, but it definitely does just break. And, um, but it has like a slight, it's like a slight, a slight bitterness with like a slight sweetness. It's very subtle. All these flavors are pretty subtle in here, actually. <laughs> Got some shroombies in here as well. Take a look. Oh. Oh, I just remembered. My brother. When I was a kid, and we eat together at the, you know, breakfast table eating cereal. I always, I eat like everything with a spoon, right? He would hate, he, he gets so annoyed when I did this. Like when you kind of bite the spoon a little bit, or put your teeth on the spoon, shovel it in your mouth. That really got on his nerves. Is that, uh, any of you guys not like that? Because... I feel like it's very unnatural for me to do this, like, get my whole mouth around it and just, like, 
get my lips on this thing and suction. Like I don't do, I don't do like this. I feel like it's very um unnatural. I just want to do like this. I don't, I don't want to stick the whole spoon into my mouth. I just want to put part of my mouth. I turned on the AC before um, this video because, as I found out now, with this light source, oh my god, I just got blinded. <laughs> this light source above me, and I'm putting these calories and usually, you know, eating hot foods, putting it in my body. It's like I start sweating. I've started sweating, so now I'm like, I gotta have this AC on to help keep a little bit cool. Otherwise, I'm just gonna start sweating in my videos and looking super greasy. Just gonna be kind of weird because it's not a workout video. Getting to the end. Hmm. You know, I was talking to my friend and asked her like, "Have you ever tried tofu before? And if so, what do you think about it?" She said she only tried it once. But now I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, "Wait a second. What do like American people even eat tofu? And you know, like, for us like Asian. Okay, you can't even see the food. For us Asian people, right?" It's like tofu is within a lot of Asian dishes, right? But what do American people eat tofu? And like, I feel like, I don't know, like the only tofu that I can think of is like when they try to make like fake meat, you know, or substitute substitute meat, whatever, out of tofu instead of just getting meat. But like, I can't think of like an actual American dish where they just use tofu. So I don't really know what to what capacity my friend ate it. And she did say it wasn't Asian food, so I can't really imagine what that would be. It's my last meal of the day too. You know, a little sad. So about this, right? I can't even remember if I said it earlier, <clears throat> but one day, you know, I saw the necessary ingredients to make this, right? I saw some Napa cabbage, had some tofu, right? Had uh, the daikon radish and everything, you know? And I was like, I'm just gonna make this. You know, I was making it one day, and I thought, I was like, wait a second. I've never seen this, you know, beef and broccoli, right? Uh, freaking general cho general tso, tao, whatever, chicken, sesame chicken, things like that, right? Chinese dishes that maybe your parents can make, but those are also in restaurants. Like, every freaking restaurant has that. But I've never seen this soup, well not, not soup anymore. I've never seen this soup in restaurants though, you know, and some of the other things that my parents made, I've seen in restaurants, you know, tomato, Chinese tomato and egg thing, um, but I've never seen this. So I messaged my parents and I was like, hey, uh, with, this, with this soup, you know, is this like, I've never seen a restaurant, is this like a family recipe or something? And my parents were like, yeah, that's a family recipe. I was like, I didn't even know that. But we do have a, we actually do have like a family cookbook where it's like, my grandpa, he's like the cook of the family. My grandpa and my mom, you know, they put all these recipes in his cookbook. But it's kind of sad because, you know, it's like a small, you know, notebook. It's kind of like, it's kind of cool. But I opened it, you know, and it's like, I can't read any of it because it's in Chinese. And, uh, yeah, for those who came from my main channel, you already know. But I speak Japanese, you know, I can read and write Japanese and everything. But uh, not Chinese. So I'm a little bit of a disgrace to my family, but... That's just how life worked out, guys. That's just how it is. And, uh, yeah, so there's all these recipes in this cookbook, but I can't read any of it. And there's no pictures, so, yeah, unfortunate. Which eventually, like, I feel like I'm going to have to just ask them and then write it down for myself in English, you know? Otherwise, these recipes are going to be lost to, uh, to good old father time, you feel me? Mmm. Have any of you guys noticed, or does it, does it even look like I'm taking like very deliberate bites, like, because if it does, it's because I am, because one time, recently actually, I think it's only like a month ago, my, what is this, your canine, your canine or whatever, I bit into the meat of my, right here, inside of my mouth, started bleeding, it hurt so bad, I like, I went hard into it, I, uh, like it went hard into my mouth. 
started bleeding and then it was super swollen, right? Now that's kind of a ripoff because once you do it, you would think that, okay, like I got punished, I bit my mouth, so now I should just be able to recover, you know, learn from my mistakes. But no, now you got this huge swollen piece in there. So of course, you know, I bit it again the next day. Hurt so bad, it took like two weeks to heal, I think. So ever since that time, that was like just, an, and it hurt to eat anything salty, right? Anything salty, anything vinegary, acidic, just burned, right? And so now I am uh, a lot more, like I'm actually kind of conscious when I'm chewing, like, cause you know, I like to scarf things down, like ah, when, I'm, when I'm not doing video, obviously. But now it's like, I have to be careful. Like, I have to like make sure I bite around so I don't just eat my freaking own mouth off. So you learn guys, you learn. One of my pet peeves, like I watch some muk, 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 bang people, and it's like, uh, I really, I don't like it when they don't eat all their food. Like, you're gonna show all this stuff in the thumbnail, like, just take a portion that you can eat, man. It looks so wasteful. So, I'm always gonna finish my food. Whatever portion I got in the video right here, it's gonna be done before the end of the video. But anyways, let me clean my mouth out, though. Just wanted to make an appearance on this channel again. Wanted to upload something to this channel again um, and show you guys what I will be making, you know. So, hope you guys enjoyed that one way or another. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.